hello guys welcome back to the channel in the previous video we have learned how we can create this table and how can we add our data into this table in this video we are going to learn how we can create a pagination so let's uh, go to our vs code and in here let's go to our controllers first so let's go to app http controllers products controller and change this gate to paginate so paginate and type the number of items we want per page so i want 10 items per page so this is done now let's close this and let's go and create a new component for pagination so i will go to my resources js components and in here i will create a new file with the name of pagination.jsx then inside pagination.jsx first i will import react from the react then i will create a const with the name of pagination and in, this will accept three parameters one link another current page and one more to change the current page with the name of set current page then inside this cons i will return a nav with either label of page navigation and inside this i will create a U ul with a class name of pagination after that i will map through my links in the links i will get one two three four five six so i will map through it and for each links i will create a li with a class name uh, and if the class name of li is active then i will add a page item and active class name otherwise i will add just a page item to mark that li or page number as an active after that i will create an a tag for each one so they should be a clickable then i will give them a class name of page link after that i i will change the href link to link.url and on click first of all i will say to e.prevent default to the prevent the default functionality of a because it will refresh our page then i will i will set it to handle page change and i will send the url after that i will display all the labels as dangerously set in our html because I, sometimes i will get this arrow or this arrow so it will not be displayed correctly so that's why i am going to use this one now let's go and create our handle page change function so let's go on the top and in here let's create our const handle page change and give url as a parameter then we will create a new const inside our discourse with the name of page params and set it to new url and give the url as a parameter then search params gate.page after that i will set my current page to page params then after that i will redirect to the url and i will say preserve state true to keep the changes as it is now let's import the router also in the top uh, let's import router from inertia.js slash react so this is done now let's scroll down and export our pagination so let's scroll down and in here let's export default pagination so our pagination component is done now let's go to our pages products index.jsx and call our pagination but before calling our pagination first of all we have to create a new const with the data and set data in it then we have to use our use form then inside here we will create a new key with the name of page and set it to products dot current page let's uh, import our use form also from the inertia.js slash react so let's type use form now let's uh, import our pagination from components slash pagination and at the end of the table let's add our component in here so pagination now the links will it need three parameters one link current page and set current page so we will set the links to products dot links and current page also equal to products dot current page these things that we get from the controller current page and links 
then let's set our current page function then i will set the current page function to page as a parameter then set page as an page now let's save everything let's go to our browser and refresh okay we got an error now let's click console let's see products.map okay since we changed the products from gate to paginate then we have to type here products.data.map now let's go now as you guys can see i got my products or items and if i scroll down i get my page number also if i click number one i go to page number one and if i click four i will go to page number four similarly if i click 20 i go to the end of my list and 16 i will go to the 16 page so this is it for this video see you guys in the next video